This is my Aquaridia West solution that I I discard and also uh, washing from precipitations. Uh, this bucket is uh, have 60 liter and also this one is a 20 liter. So this time we need to uh, collect and treat for disposal. Here is uh, lots of precipitation. It's, uh, almost one year I add copper, copper bars, copper wires, and all coppers are dissolved here. And also this one. So we need to collect what I have. Uh, that uh, copper precipitation here, much, much black powder. So uh, let's decant this one by siphon or uh, rubber tube. So this is our rubber hose and we filled up with water so that you can side pun easily here. I didn't expect much cold here but I'm sure there's no silver also. And that is our best solution made for treatment for disposal. This is also our precipitation. So, yeah. After siphon, this is our precipitation. I transfer this one into a small bucket for easy filtration yeah. lots of precipitation okay start filtering to our precipitation here After filtering, this is our precipitation. So what I have prepared here is a copper chloride solution. We pour the, our precipitation to dissolve uh, some copper and other uh, material like steel or aluminum. So let's begin. And steel. So we left this job and wait for uh, three days to complete. Almost two liter, I know more than two liter. And leave it for three days. Let's see what happens. Today is May 23, 24, 25, 26. Friday. Let's take a look. We stare this one three times a day. After removal the saturated liquid here, as you can see, we add fresh a copper chloride solution. And we run for three days and stir three times a day. After three days, we filter again to our filter paper. May 31, 
2023 lots of liquid so we add distilled water to our remaining residue here for boiling and boiling with water and repeat this process until uh, the color of the solution of water is clear the reason here is to remove the dissolved metals like copper aluminium and other metal here present after multiple boiling I reach the clear water here so I need to decant this one and capture all precipitation so let's begin filtering our precipitation here very dark elements all black powder here is loaded to our large filter paper clean water and I had already captured all the black sediment here so what we are doing next is to add our beaker for drying <laughs> okay then adding to our beaker and ready for drying okay drying with our fire charcoal don't not put the cup on the top for a better evaporation After removing the water from uh, our material, now we add to our stainless bowl here for completely drying because we cannot completely dry this one because our beaker will be maybe break. After extremely heat treatment, that is our precipitation here the paper has burned and let's continue to become all powder we continue drying here with our built-in blotters so that we remove the larger particle and turn to dust So let's add our dry material to our baker. Okay, we continue our video here. So what we're going to do here is to add our black powder to a large baker. Our material here has added to our large baker. Then we add water. Just like that. And stir a little bit. So we prepare sixty percent HNO three here. Fifty ml. Heating our material here at least uh, 60 to 90 C. Then our material has heated, heating right now, and we add 15 ml of here. Just like that. Let's see what happened here. Yeah. 
Okay, red fumes. That means we dissolve some metals here. Just like that. Baby boy. After multiple boiling with nitric acid and multiple boiling also with hydrochloric acid, that is the remaining residue. I don't proceed for aqua regia for a reason because maybe there is platinum groups of metal here and you know so what we're going to do now is to remove the water and capture the remaining residue here to our butter paper So we're adding our captured black powder here into our DIY crucible. So well, let's go. We dry it first. change our torch to our map plus let's see what happened here Okay. Okay. This is our molten metal. This is the result of non using aquaria. Nice metal. <laughs> so I will refine this one later on. My nitric acid is all uh, consumed. and some low melting points metal here like tin and lead are oxidized and that is our material some here are very tiny but we need to collect and melt it together so let's take a look how much we got in our job Five point five contaminated gold. Look at that. Maybe ten to fourteen karat. So thank you so much for watching. We will find this later on. Some other uh, maybe platinum group of metals here are oxidized and not melted because our torch is only. 1100 degrees celsius and the higher melting points of metal here are only oxidized not melted okay very nice look at that